What's going on, um, Virgo? I got messages for you. What's playing is SZA. I hate you. So y'all could be telling somebody y'all hate them. Listen, y'all could be feeling like this about somebody. Virgo, is it me? But I like grapes, the purple grapes with pepper jack cheese. So good. So anyway, Virgo, we gonna see what's going on with you. All right, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors, protect me as I turn all the messages for Virgo. Let's see what's going on, y'all. Isn't today King Day? Happy King Day to y'all. Happy Martin Luther King Day. Okay, let me take my lashes because I got some more lashes coming, but I had a good workout. And I'm getting right back on schedule to my workouts. I just did like um, a workout at home. This That's what helps me keep um, staying like high vibrations. It helps me stay positive. I feel like really, really good like after a workout. I should have known, right? Duh, I'm an Aries. So let's see what's going on with you, Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Thank you guys for the likes, the shares, the comments, and subscribes. Thank y'all for fucking with me. Thank y'all for rocking with me. I appreciate that. So let's channel for you, Virg. See what's going on. A third party. So I don't know what this third party um, wants with you. Okay. Maybe some of y'all could be saying this about somebody because they was caught cheating or something like that. <clears throat> But I feel like there could be a third party that's in competition with you. Ain't no comparison if you're not in the third party or whatever. So I'm saying like, I feel like it, this could be like, I feel like somebody wants to confront you or something or whatever. But yeah, rejected. Oh, okay, because you rejected an ex-lover, you could have rejected this person at a party or you rejected somebody's invitation to a party or somebody is scared that you're going to reject their invitation to a, a party. Did I say my prayer? Spirit guides, angels, and ancestors, protect me as I go into this reading to channel for Virgo. Anybody sending me any negative energy, return it to sender. All right, times 10. Okay. So I don't know what this, okay, so yeah, third party karmic relationship here. This is somebody that's in a karmic cycle, they're in a karmic relationship. I feel like you could know this person is karmic and that's why you're letting them go because they are in a karmic cycle or they, they like third parties, okay? Virgo? And I feel like whoever this person's karmic is, is jealous of you. This person thinks that they're going to come towards you for some reason. They're seeing some type of signs and synchronicities when it comes to you, Virgo. Okay. Yeah, about some spell work or somebody is seeing signs and synchronicities about spell work here. We got competition, desperation, and a devil. Who is this? I feel like somebody is just like, this could be an energy that's very desperate to be in a relationship or somebody's desperate to win something so bad when it comes to you. Hold on. Let me see if I can turn that down a little bit. Maybe y'all can see it, but I feel like someone had, or whoever this individual is that's jealous because they're in a karmic relationship or, or whatever, but this is a lot of damn card. <sighs> Alexa, volume down one. Give me, um, ooh, we, we finna find out, okay? Yeah, we got a hospital visit in reverse. So somebody could be doing spell work so that somebody doesn't, so that they can always party and not go to the hospital. Yeah. Somebody, I feel like this is you, Virgo. You're making a choice not to reconcile, not to reunite. You don't want to give nobody a second chance. You don't want to roll the dice you don't want to take a chance because you know this individual somebody could have rolled the dice and they took a chance on somebody that was trying to look like you wants to be you acts like you dress like you or somebody try to copy your whole like get up and i feel like this individual could be like mad because okay so if he was dealing with a masculine or whoever a feminine or whoever this person mad because they made the wrong choice it's like they like damn i got it you trying to be like so-and-so. Like, damn, why the hell did I choose your ass? So now they're going through karma here. And their karma is breaking up. 
but this person, like I'm trying to tell you, this person, whoever your soulmate is, twin flame or whoever you have this soul connection with, that's all I'm going to say is soul connection. This person could possibly have an STD. Maybe they're going to meet up with you and tell you this here, but look how I'm looking on this meet up. Look how she looking. She like, man, I'm not trying to hear that shit because I don't already told your stupid ass what was going on and what was going to transpire. Look at him. Look at her. She like, man, I ain't got time to hear this shit. I feel like, yeah, you're unbothered because you know that these people just want to start some drama with you. And I feel like you surrendered that shit. You surrendered it. He like, man, I'm just going off into my new beginning. I don't have time for none of this nonsense, none of this mess that you motherfuckers like. It's just a whole bunch of third party karmic shit. So I feel like y'all could be letting shit go here and loving you. And I feel like there could be people jealous of you because of that. So let's hop into some tarot and see what's really going on. Let's see what's really going on with this third party shit. Okay. <laughs> Spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Let's channel for Virgo. Let's see what this mess is. I feel like somebody did something to somebody's blood or somebody was doing some type of blood work or blood magic here. Um, Virgo. And there's a person here that's mad. I feel like this is a karmic energy that's mad because she got to do spell work to get a man or she got to do spell work. I don't know. This bitch is just mad. We got a bitter, bitter bitch here. Okay. Bitter, bitter karmic. That's what's coming up in this read, Virgo. And this person's like watching you and then when they watch you, they get jealous here because they're like, man, I feel like this karmic could be seeing the synchronicities or whatever. But let's see, third party. Wow, two of pentacles in reverse. So somebody could be like highly unstable or somebody is just like dropping this shit or with the two of pentacles in reverse. Okay. Whoever this is, they may have to drop something here. What's this two of pentacles in reverse? Damn, Virgo. Nine of pentacles in reverse. Wow. So a highly unstable person. So I feel like here somebody is highly unstable. This could be somebody in a third party in cahoots with a scam artist or somebody that wants to marry them for money. But it's like, how am I marry you for money? Somebody sees a masculine as their wish. So it's like they're trying to do what they have to do when it comes to the looks to get somebody to marry them. So that way they could, I don't know, man. But the nine of pentacles in reverse, this is someone that be going to sell their ass and they still ain't got no money. Virgo. They go and they sell, they, they, they sell it and they still ain't got no money. So they giving up, they stretching them walls back. And they still broke, okay? Let me see if I can turn this back so y'all can see it, y'all. I'll be talking my shit. <laughs> Hold on, Virgo. I'm, let me just get this stuff right because I just have to wash my thing. But this table not big enough, so if y'all can't see the cards, don't even worry about that. Do y'all trust me or not? We got the nine of pentacles, two of pentacles in reverse, like I said, with this third party, miss che uh, cheating, competition, and a mistress. So this individual is like, this could be, this could be a Virgo or Taurus or Capricorn. This could be another Virgo here that was doing this or whatever with the nine of pentacles in reverse. This is a shady person. Like this could be like a group, a third party group here linking up here. Like how are we going to do this or how are we going to build generational wealth here? Or something like that. But I don't know what's going on. What's this nine of pentacles? This is a scam artist. This person's shady. Give me nine of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, this is what they, they, they work on this. Somebody's a working girl. But I feel like this person could be like closing out that cycle and they're transitioning and they're moving on from this. Or somebody's like moving on from this nine of pentacles in reverse. What's the nine of pentacles in reverse? Whoever this is, they want to marry somebody for money because they're unstable. They don't have nothing. They possibly don't have two quarters to rub together. You know what I mean? Whoever this karmic energy is. Hold on. Yeah, we got judgment. Ooh, we. Looks like they're on the judgment or somebody's like choosing like to follow their path or they feel like following their path is like... Hoeing? Or somebody's on the judgment here. Whoever this is and it's not a pentacles reverse. Whoever this is is trying to marry for money or use somebody for money. Very codependent type of energy. What's the judgment in reverse with the nine of pentacles? 
Yeah, we got the moon. Yeah, somebody's holding a secret. So it could be, let me tell you something. Somebody's keeping a huge secret. So I feel like somebody in this energy doesn't know that somebody going to sell the ass, Virgo. And this energy, they do this to somebody's a night girl here. Yeah, we got the five of pentacles and the empress. I feel like somebody's doing this while they're pregnant. Damn, what's the moon? Yeah, we got the nine of swords. They're worried about this getting out. Or somebody's feeling guilty here. You could be dealing with a Gemini, a Cancer, a Pisces, um, a Scorpio, a Virgo, and a Capricorn here. But somebody's feeling guilty about something they did in, in secret here. Or something that they, they're hiding something here. This is an illusion. They're feeling so bad. What's the comment? I mean, we did say that STI or STD or some shit like that. Yeah, we got justice. What's the justice here with karmic relationship? We got the four of pentacles. So karma. So things are going to be made fair and balanced here with the four of pentacles. I feel like, um, what's the justice for pentacles? The five of pentacles. Whoa. I feel like that is somebody's karma to be left out, lonely, or somebody could be deciding to divorce someone here. But they're not saying when. Yeah, we got the devil, the three of cups, because like this is a whole fucking coven of, of weird demonic bitches that group up together. They go and do spell work on people here using blood and putting their menstrual blood and all. They just this is just some weird shit here. We got a coven of weird motherfuckers. OK, a coven of weird, weird people. OK. Somebody may have to learn this lesson here, okay? Or somebody has gotten in a contract. What's the five of pentacles? But it seems like this person is like in some type of lack that they're keeping to themselves in this karmic relationship. They're not saying anything. Four of pentacles, five of pentacles. I mean, shit, I wouldn't put my business on there if I'm struggling too. So somebody could be sharing some type of information here. It could be this queen of swords. You could be dealing with a Libra, a Gemini, or Aquarius. This could be somebody saying that they want to be left alone or somebody could be saying something about the five of pentacles. What's the queen of pentacles, five of pentacles? Damn, why are these cards flying like this? That's the ace of pentacles in reverse. These cards is just flying, y'all. So, we already know what that means. So somebody like lost out on an opportunity here. This could be this whoever this queen of swords is. They could be saying that they don't have any money or they need some money. But give me the queen of swords, five of pentacles. Give me what else she's saying. Yeah, eight of cups. And they leaving. So, this is like someone like trying to hold every penny to themselves here so that they can leave. Or somebody has gotten put out or gotten ghosted here in this karmic relationship or whatever. Whoever this queen of swords is, they could be asking for money or asking for finances here. Or they could be um, telling somebody that they owe them money here. But with the ace of pentacles in reverse, this is someone that mismanages their money. They don't even... Whoever this karmic is, like, your money just get low as fuck with this person. I keep seeing the eight of swords. So somebody may be trapped here within a marriage or within an organization, an institution. Somebody could be locked up or they're being held um, against their will or something like that. The eight of swords and the hierophant. Somebody's, like, bonded to this organization or they're stuck. This could be this could be jail. Or somebody's like actually in jail right now. And I feel like there could be an energy where it's like they're saying, Virgo, like they need some money for their bail or their bond or something like that. Give me the jealousy. 
Yeah, we got the Wheel of Fortune. So somebody's jealous of somebody else's fate, their destiny, their luck, fortune, the birth chart. Like, I feel like somebody possibly, like, looked into your birth chart and they seen that, like, you got all good things coming to you. So this is why, like, this could be, like, why this person is trying to slow down this jealous-ass karma. This could be why this individual is trying to slow down your, like, um your fate or whatever. Whatever this is that's changing and it's going in your favor. So... Virgo, um, <laughs> this could be another Virgo. Don't have to be. But I'm seeing that slow and steady wins the race. So, so you are on your purpose. You are on your path here. The will is turning in your favor. And I feel like there's people here that don't like that. Okay. Because they think that they fucking man wants you or they woman wants you or whoever. But this is someone that's trying to like evil eye you and and put you in a, a hospital or something. Give me the Wheel of Fortune. Who is this, who is this jealous person? Somebody's mad. Yeah, it's an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius or a Leo or whoever. But this person watches you and they're like... Give me the Queen of Wands. Yeah, it's, it's a couple that watches you. A King and Queen of Wands. They both watch you. Look, Seven of Swords too. So this could be two Leos or this could be like a... Uh, two fire sign couples here that watch you and when they watch you they get jealous because somebody's mad that they person a liar or a cheater i don't know give me this queen of wands with the jealousy this could be a witch okay yeah this is a leo and this person could be like with child here so this could be a Leo or somebody could have a Leo son, okay, um, that watches you. Okay, why are they mad? Yeah, four of swords. Because they know somebody's like contemplating to come towards you. Yeah, we got the devil. Okay, Capricorn energy. This person's obsessed with the way you look or... Like, it's, I feel like, um, Virgo, it's because you're happy, okay? You shine. You're very vibrant, okay? Now, if this isn't you, I don't know, man. Somebody just doesn't like the way you shine. You're very vibrant here. You make good business decisions here as well. You know your worth. You're a warrior goddess. We got the page of swords. They could be gossiping about you, but who gives a fuck, you know? That's just what bitches do. They gossip. What's the devil? Because they're mad, they're in a they're in a toxic situation here, or they're or they're chained to the devil, or they're obsessive, or they have some type of mental problems or ego issues or something like that. What's the devil? The devil is the two of wands, not a sword. So there's somebody that's obsessed with coming towards you here. Somebody's gonna make a choice to actually leave and come straight towards you, Virgo. I don't know if you want this, but I feel like that's why this person is mad because it's like you're looking the other way while this person is watching you. Now, some of you may have Leo in your chart. Maybe this is not a Leo feminine, okay? Something about okay, I'm picking up. Y'all may wear like um a pendant or or something. I'm picking up something right here, like on the chest. I was really picking up like a chest or a necklace. It's like in the shape of a diamond or something like that. Like something. It's, it's, it's shaped like that. I don't know what type of necklace this is that you guys wear. But it's shaped like a like a, a triangle. This could be a Sagittarius. Because I'm getting a temperance card. Yeah, this could be a Sagittarius that watches you. And they get mad because you're so happy. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune is right here. That's Sagittarius too, Jupiter. But it's like, don't know. What's the devil? Yeah, we got the Seven of Wands. So somebody's like, man, they're folding up on their beliefs. This person could be receiving a backfire right now for what they have done to you, Virgo. Whoever this 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 toxic evil or whoever this devil's doing spell work so yeah sacrifice rituals here that they was partnering up here together to do this yeah with the magician this person was doing this with their partner 
they was doing like sacrifice rituals here on you with the magician virgo gemini energy we got the two of cups cancer pisces here with the hangman yeah so somebody really wanted you out of here but i feel like this is going right back to them and they're mad because you're moving forward oh well this is what happens what comes around goes around if you think that you would sit up here and just do something to somebody and you not get any repercussions for it we have 2020 vision we know we see you bitches here we know what y'all doing what makes you think that your spell work is going to work? It's just not going to happen like that. And I keep I, I keep having to repeat myself. Why are y'all mad that a masculine wants a woman? That don't mean that we're going to take this motherfucker back. Get mad at your nigga. Why is y'all like, it's like y'all be like wanting to get mad at women. It don't even be the woman's fault. It be y'all man that be lying to y'all motherfucking ass. And y'all get mad because maybe uh the other person has their heart. Okay. Maybe if you stop being a bitter, jealous bitch, then things will work out for you. What's the signs of synchronicities? Somebody know they about to have a hard time. Seven of Pentacles. Signs of synchronicities. So somebody's waiting on some type of sign here when it comes to this work that they done did or with the Ten of Wands. They're waiting to see if you're going to struggle. I think the fuck not, bitch. You're going to keep waiting. Seven of Pentacles, Ten of Wands. Yeah, you're going to keep waiting, and then you're going to be mad. Five of Cups, yep. Go ahead and keep waiting. <laughs> yeah, Nine of Wands. Go ahead and keep waiting. You're going to forever be waiting to watch somebody struggle or to watch somebody be in a Ten of Wands or in a Five of Cups. You're going to forever be waiting or forever be miserable. What's the menstrual? The world. What's the menstrual blood? Love spell? Page of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody's like trying to learn how to do some blood magic here we got the ace of swords mm -mm. somebody wants somebody to be stuck okay solid the page of pentacles talks all about like a solid investment this is someone they do this shit all the time I'm seeing a tie here. Was I'm like, I'm looking at the world. This is like a ribbon. Somebody's like, keep, they keep doing. This is like an ongoing cycle. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. Somebody keeps doing this spell, right? And it's a sword. Say so that's the truth. Maybe you have gotten a download. Somebody keep doing this spell, and you see, as, as I'm I'm looking at the tie, either somebody's spell work was rejected. Let me cover her up, okay? It was either somebody's spell work was rejected here. But someone like wants to keep a hold of this attachment. This is like a ribbon like that. It's like somebody just wants to stay like attached. So they keep paying for work. Page of Pentacles. They keep paying for it. Give me the hospital visit in reverse for Virgo. Um, hopefully this was, yeah, we got the King of Swords. So, wow. So, somebody's somebody may already know this here about a third party. And they're, I feel like there could be individuals fighting and arguing and gossiping about a hospital visit. The King of Swords is usually somebody of intellect, truth here, knowledge. So, I feel like this King of Swords know something about a hospital visit. This could be Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. What's this King of Swords? Maybe they went to the hospital. Because this person's looking angry as hell. We got the Six of Cups. Yeah, so they had already went to the hospital in the past. Maybe this person wants to tell you the truth. Yeah, we got the Ten of Swords. Something has ended abruptly. So the reason why this person wants to come in and reconcile with you so they can end you for good, Virgo. Yeah. This person wants to do you in and then they want to move forward here to somebody else, with somebody else. This person just does not. It's like they, like I said in, in the last reading, somebody just wants to finish the job or um, somebody's like hoping that you will lay down with they nasty dick ass or they 
what's the ten of swords so this is why they want to come in and be all sweet nine of cups yes this would bring them great joy and fulfillment if they were able to get you sick ace of swords that's the truth and pregnant have you lay down with a baby i mean have you like to have a baby here and they go off and leave somebody just wants to do the absolute most while they go and get victory here what's the ace of swords ten of swords here that's 11 fucking swords man five of wands yeah they are arguing and fighting over this damn hospital visit yeah, Ace of Wands. Yep, Seven of Swords. Come on, man. Somebody wants to, they trying to build up the strength and the courage here. You could be dealing with the Leo to tell you like why they was in the Seven of Swords or why they were strategically like leaving, um, why they were strategically like moving away from having a passionate new beginning with you. Or, I don't know, man. But I'm seeing a lot of petty shit going on. It's like somebody loves drama. Like drama satisfies them. Like this makes them happy. They're like, yeah, I got everybody fucking fighting over the shit that I've caused. Somebody messy as fuck. They go and get their shit started and then like they go and... What's the five of wands? But the truth is out here with the ace of swords. I feel like that's why the hospital visit is in reverse because the truth is out or... This person's trying to hide the truth about this hospital visit that they asked them when they got, you know what I mean? Yeah, page of wands. This person already heard. Them. This is a messenger with the page of wands. Somebody had already told them here. What's the page of wands? We got the Knight of Swords. Yep, somebody went rushing to the doctor. They're like, well, hey, you need to come in. And whatever this news was, it's the cause of tower moment here. Yeah, we got the Hangman. And then we got the Queen of Cups. Now this person could be waiting here to go in the opposite direction. Because whoever, whoever this person had in their energy here, whoever was the karmic, I'm getting this person already knew what was going on with their unmentionables give me the tower in the hangman i feel like you're enlightened about this tower moment that this person is receiving this is like chaos and destruction for them what's the tower scorpio aries energy pisces energy i'm trying to tell you the tower is an ending this is an ending a straight up ending we got the ace of wands the temperance i feel like your new beginning is protected though virgo with somebody else because i feel like somebody wanted to have third parties karmic lovers and all types of shit and look where it got them something's going on with somebody's blood and like man somebody's like mad at you or they, they hate the fact that you moved on or whatever we got a king of wands that fucking hates you what's the death card tower hey man Somebody's like planning to come and like, here they go on this sacrificing shit. This person knows the truth about their fucking health. And they know they shouldn't be going around, you know what I mean, touching nobody. But yet they want to come in in this six of cups energy to reconcile in order to tennis towards you. Tower, hangman, death. Somebody wants you out of here. You got to be a sick motherfucker. Yeah, nine of wands. Why? What's what's up with the nine of wands? Are they mad because you ghosted them? Because you you're enlightened about it by being in solitude. What's the nine of wands? Oh, okay, seven of swords. Because you know they're trying to seven of swords you and put you in the hospital. Seven of swords, four of swords. Mhm. Mm Wow, this person put their damn self in the hospital from trying to seven of swords you. It seemed like they hurt you before, okay? And then, like, I feel like you were like, yeah, that's cool. And this person, like, strategically went away and got themselves in a four of swords position. Damn, with the five of cups here, right there by that. Yeah, we got the empress and the six of pentacles. Somebody could be paying to do work on you here if you're empress energy. That's what I'm seeing. Somebody could be paying to do some type of work on you. It never fails, right? But by this person, like, trying to seven of swords you, right? Trying to masquerade as your friend or trying to be a trickster or whatever. I feel like you was already giving up or you were already tired here from this ongoing battle anyway, Virgo. 
But by this person doing this to you, they got themselves in a four of swords position. This person may need to be hospitalized. This person... I feel like this individual chose to stay asleep. They did not want to awaken. What's the, what's the messages here for Virgo? Somebody looked at you like you were too much of too, too much of a challenge, Virgo. Like you were just too much for this person. And it's like they couldn't like they couldn't defeat you. So they got caught being in the seven of swords. Um and that's just what it is. Let's see. Let's close it down for Virgo. Yeah, we got the magician and it landed right on the devil. So whoever this devil is, they could be a magician. A master manipulator here. This is an occult full of magicians. And full of mad motherfuckers. Mad people here. They could be leaders. But I feel like somebody's going to take a great fall. And they're going to go from like very wealthy to homeless. That's their karma. Somebody's going to go from very wealthy to having a business, to being a leader, to being a risk taker, to these investments, to bankrupt. Laund uh, 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 oh, I don't know why I say laundering. Wandering, hunger, solitude, unemployment. That's what I'm seeing. Yeah, we got sacred mission, religion, morality. This was a whole like religious group. Yeah. It's like they made a pact to try to like take you down. A whole religious group. Yeah, to watch you. To get some type of clues to learn more about you here. It seems like you're an animal shaman though. You are a spiritual leader. You connect very well to animals. Yeah, a detective and a lawyer. So this lawyer could be learning something here about this. You know what I mean? About what's going on. I just feel like whoever this person was in this nine of pentacles let me see something give me the nine of pentacles in reverse who is this sex worker maybe this person said something about them being a sex worker who's the sex worker yeah this sex worker is somebody that got beef with you this person is trying to marry um somebody for money they got some type of issues with you because this person ghosted you and made you feel like the grass was greener on the other side, but it wasn't. Because it was all a facade. It's really a toxic relationship. What's the nine of pentacles in reverse? Yeah, seducing. This person uh, hooks up here at, at their home with third parties. Hooking up temptation, third party interference here. For some of you, this person was a third party. They were a mistress or whatever, a side chick or whatever here. And they be hooking up with other lovers here at, at their house or whatever. Yeah, we got divine intervention. Why? What's the divine intervention? Because this person is crying over you. For some of you, they could have been, you know, that ain't my business. But this person could be attracted to you. If it's a feminine, this person could be attracted to you here. And they possibly want you for their goddamn self, Virgo. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, this bitch stalking you. 33, 33. They crazy. This person like, nope. Mm -mm. What's this? Um, Give me. <laughs> why, they, why they in their head? Why they in the nine of swords about the moon? Why they, why they in the nine of swords about the moon? Because of some type of breakup or somebody feels guilty for breaking up with you or it's a secret here that they broke up here. Yeah, like I said, we got the nine of swords in. <laughs> And simping on you. For some of you, this could have been this masculine here that was simping on you. Give me the nine of swords. So this, now this person feels guilty here because they're still attracted to you. They're still lusting after you, but you rejected them. Yeah, access denied. Like I said before, what's the nine of swords? Yeah, we got misfortune and gossip and tea. For some of you... <laughs> People know the tea about misfortune came out twice. People know the tea about this person. They could be talking about this this couple behind their back and getting updated news on them, telling the truth about them, exposing the truth. 
And I feel like this masculine could be crying. They really, really crying. What's going on here with this crying over here? Yeah, between the lines, hidden meaning, speculate, implicit. Yeah, because they're a player. They don't know how to keep their dick in their pants. They may have to hire a lawyer. What's this lawyer? Yeah, because somebody stole something or they tried to steal something from you. To create some type of drama, truth. Or you're going to be getting the truth from this lawyer here about this thief. This is somebody that you were in love with, Virgo. They stole something from you. And they tried to cover it up. What's this? What's the keeper of justice? Uh, the lawyer. Yeah, they took a chance. You may see something unexpectedly here about this obsessed third party who's in this toxic relationship. Okay, they fighting. Because somebody keeps hooking up and having one night stands here with other lovers here for money. Because they broke. So it's like they got to do what they got to do. Somebody is having like panic attacks. They could be restless here. They possibly want to come in and fight you. But you have healed, Virgo. If somebody's talking shit about your healing process because you let go and you release their ass. Okay. Oh, Virgo. What, what's next in closing? Yeah, we got this impersonator bitch coming out again. That keep lying on you. What's the impersonator? Breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment. But they want to be like you, though. So they could be lying and saying that you didn't end something here with a masculine. They, I keep seeing this weirdo stalking you. Yeah, this obsessive lover. This person is obsessed with you and this masculine. Give me this obsessive lover talking shit about your intuition. So some of you guys are psychic, your readers here. Somebody could be talking shit about your intuition here. That's because you're right. You invoke change. And for people to uh, go through those spiritual awakenings here, for some of you, this individual is going to come towards you like they have had a spiritual awakening, but this is going to be fake. They're going to cover it up. This is an enemy here. Somebody may have blue eyes, a blue eyed snake. That could be um, watching you. Somebody could be um, online dating here as well. But I'm going to leave it there, Virgo. Don't know if this resonates. Hopefully it did. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn the notification bell on. Until next time, Virgo. Bye.